Yes, I know you already set up an appointment with Mr. Cassidyne, but I am actually calling right now at his behest to see if we could set up something a little bit earlier. Like tomorrow. Oh, lovely. Yes. yes. Yes, of course. We'll be expecting you then. Yes, and Mr. Cassidy, I wanted to be very, very clear that you're to bill him personally for any inconvenience that this may have caused you. Yes. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is brilliant. Remind me to give you a bonus. We're not done yet. Who are you calling now? Okay. Yes, is this a Cassidyne residence? Yes, hello. I'm calling from the Metro Court Hotel. It seems that one of our guests uh, has turned in a cell phone. Uh, never mind. Mr. Cassidyne, you're looking for this. Well, I just don't know how I could have dropped it. Well, no harm done. Oh, and by the way, it turns out that your inspector had an earlier slot available for an inspection tomorrow. Isn't she wonderful? Well, she only just started working here. I can't wait to see what she does with the Spoon Island Spa Project. All I want is to hang on to my home. And that's what I'll do, by any means necessary. All right. You brought me and Sonny. You still haven't told me what Rick was doing I'm here. I'm not going to drag you into the middle of this. I already told you that, especially tonight. Tonight could be a bridge for you and Sonny. Look, this foundation could help us all heal, Jason. OK, fine. Talk about it. All right, so I think I have a great turnout for tonight, except I'm a little worried about the weather because they're calling for a blizzard. Can you believe that tonight of all nights they're calling for a blizzard? But that's okay. I am going to try to be positive. We're going to make tons of money tonight, and tomorrow we can be snug in our beds watching the snowfall. This thing with the foundation, you know, and the benefit, I think, I think it's great. But I have to ask, I mean, are, are you doing this because you think somehow it might bring Michael back? 